how to make a light up butterfly that also flaps and lights up with a battery like so first of all you're going to need some supplies battery LED copper tape pair of scissors, a hot glue gun is handy, and your clothespin. And what are the pieces of the of paper? These are the t pulley tabs that help the wings to flap, so they're pulling the wings down when you press the clothespin. So the first step is take a look at your butterfly. So. Look for this one. I've been seeing this one recently. This is the month of June. And then this one here I see usually in July. The Painted Lady. It's my favorite one. Okay, so take your butterfly and your clothespin and you're going to make a fold on the size of your butterfly, like so. Creasing it both directions. So I've started a fold here. Now I'm just going to bend it back as well. So it's the width of your clothespin. And then take your hot glue on the back of your clothespin. There. And place your butterfly. And you want to have the head just at the end of the butterfly. Like so. Okay. Once your butterfly is attached, you can attach your sticker LED and we have this sticker LED here that has a positive and a negative side and if you look really closely you can see the plus and the negative on it. There's also an LED light in the middle and a little resistor and it's really important the positive and negative when you're going to attach your battery to this circuit. So we're going to put this little LED sticker at the end of the butterfly's head or body. So the positive is at the end of your clothespin, like so. And I'm going to have to trim some of the head off the butterfly. Sorry, butterfly. Or I could probably bend it down. Okay, so I've got the positive on this, the end of its head and the negative on the thorax. So next step is to add your copper tape. And what we're, our goal is, is to make a circuit, a complete circle is really what a circuit is, that looks something like this. So if you can imagine, that's our LED sticker and there's a positive going to the positive side of our battery. So that's gonna be the nose if butterflies have a nose from the proboscis, let's call it the proboscis, to underneath to the bottom of the, um, of the, like this, of the top part of the clip. So you just need a small length for that, about an inch and a half. You can tear it yourself. Whoops. And it does stick to itself really well. Like so. Something we've discovered, the longer the tape is before it completes its circuit, the more resistance. And you may not light up your LED if you have a really long circuit. Or what else could cause more resistance? Oh, good question, Lo. The corners going around here and folds causes more resistance as well. So the fewer folds you can do, the better. And breaks. Oh, the yeah. Breaks and tape. These tapes do rip, yeah. So now I'm going to attach the negative, um, negative side of my LED to the underside my goal is to reach the bottom of the clip on this side. Do you see this circuit right here? So I'm trying to not cross my wires. 
and have the negative reach the bottom of the clip in the shortest distance possible without ripping. And that's a bit of a tricky part. So like so. And I guess I'm going to cross this way this time. And here's where the bend is. So I, I, can, I can rip it and then tape over top of it. Oops, this tape. We gave you extra copper tape. So now I'm going to go over it at a 90 degree and then fold here and then on top, end up on top of the bottom of the clip. Sometimes the glue on the bottom of these copper tapes acts like a um, insulator, so the metal isn't contacting metal. So you really want to burnish it down with the back of a scissor, back of a fingernail, and here's where I'm very delicately turning it so I don't rip it. Those electrons are going to have to make a little half pipe, is that what it's called? Spin around that. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Now I'm trying to get it on top with not too many bends and wrinkles. Okay, not bad. Let's test it out. And we recommend before you start the circuit to just test out your battery and LED just with a second pair of hands where somebody can contact the positive and negative. Oh, yay. Okay. So that works. Well, it's a little, a little bit sensitive there. It's going on and off. So make sure all these contacts are burnished, burnished down, and I think you'll have better luck with it. So the next step is putting the pulley arms on the butterfly, and Mo drew us this picture here to show us where we're going to glue the tabs onto the bottom side of the butterfly. So you should have two tabs with, um, with a dash line, usually means fold in paper arts. So we're going to fold those, and I'm folding them, I guess it fold them down like this, and then we're going to attach them to our butterfly. So you can lay your butterfly flat for now, and You'll want the hot glue gun for this. So to get the most amount of movement, um, you want to glue your arms closer to the end of the clothespin where it opens the most. So we're going to glue our arms, pulley arms, right near the front of the butterfly, bottom side, and the paper is pointed in towards um, the clip like so. Here's our finished one that we want to emulate or to copy. Can you see that? Okay. Might be easier to just put glue on the tab, like so. And it's a little hot, like so. Okay. So now it looks like it's walking le with legs a little bit. I'm going to try and do something like this, folded um, with wings in an upright position. So wings in an upright position, folded, and, and then I'm going to pinch it to see what, it, what movement I get. That's pretty good. Okay. Perhaps you can experiment with stiffer um, pulleys as well, but this is going to work. I'm going to put a dab of glue on the sides of the bottom pin only, avoiding gluing them together. Like so. Okay, and then you can see the tabs are a little too long, so go ahead and trim those. Lo, do you think a um, stick glue could work as well? 
I think if you use a glue stick, you might need to wait longer at each step for the glue to fully dry. Um, and it, you might want to even like scoop off a, a chunk of a glue stick rather than try to swipe it back and forth. Okay, let's see how this works. Nice. Okay, so I have a flapping butterfly. And if I want it to light up, I just need my battery. And um, if you put the battery in the wrong way, you probably won't get uh, get it to light up. So there is a positive and a negative side written on the battery too that you can see. So that's it. Idea shelf laser cutting room, 3D printers, printing some bike tools, hand tool shelf, sewing machines, heat press for t-shirts,